rainy Friday afternoon in New York City. Let's set the vibes. Comfy cozy. Newest episode of Summer I Turn Pretty is out now. Let's go. Yay. I ordered myself soup. I love LPQ's lentil soup. Fun fact about me. Oh, the best part though is the bread that comes with it. Next up, a new episode of In Just Like That. Today's a big day for episode drops. All right, the rain is gone. I've spent the last two hours on my computer, on my couch watching TV, which was lovely, but we must get up. It is a weekend. I haven't spent a weekend in New York City in what feels like so long. You guys already know the drill though. I don't start a weekend without drinking an element. This is my best friend. I have brought Element with me on all of my travels this summer, including the Hamptons, weekend trips, whatever it may be, or obviously when I'm here at home. If you guys don't know what Element is, it's basically a very tasty, very, very tasty electrolyte drink mix that is everything you need and nothing that you don't need. So that means a lot of salt, but no sugar. So it has a science-backed electrolyte ratio, which is 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. So there's no junk in this, which is what makes me feel good. I feel like I'm putting good into my body. There's no coloring, no sugar, no artificial ingredients, no gluten, no fillers, just no BS, honestly. So Element can help prevent and eliminate headaches if you're feeling fatigued, if you had a little bit too much to drink the night before. I literally love this stuff. I feel like it's truly helped with my hangovers or again like a day like today I worked out this morning feeling a little dehydrated and I'm heading into the weekend. I have to go in strong mm. And the best part is like I look forward to this taste. I want this taste I just want to drink it all day, but I, I only have one right now element is actually offering a free sample pack to anyone that buys anything on element Which is amazing because you get to try a ton of their new flavors my favorite flavor I will always say is citrus salt. I also love raspberry salt a lot of people like wa watermelon salt Like there's so many amazing flavors. They even have a chocolate salt, which is pretty cool in the sample packet There are eight single serving packets So that's literally a whole amazing deal in its own so you can try all eight flavors and see which one's your favorite again Mine is citrus salt. <laughs> so if you go to drinkelement.com slash Danielle Carolyn, that'll get you this free sample pack, but you have to go to my link. So that's drinklmnt.com slash Danielle Carolyn. I will also have it linked down below, but I am going to drink my element, get excited for the evening, start to play some good music and start to get ready because Lord knows I need time. So actually really exciting news. I just got my um, renewal offer for this apartment and I was really nervous that they were gonna raise my rent up a ton, but they didn't, so I'm staying, which I was planning on staying, but you never know. I was just like, let's see, and it's reasonable. So I'm very happy to be staying here. So with that, I'm like, ooh, like I'm always looking for a new project. I'm gonna turn the lights on. I thought the red lights are from last night. Before I go to bed, I always have my, why is this not, okay, there we go, my room. I've just always, I, I love it, obviously, but I've always felt like in this room, there's just things that could be fixed and I just kind of ignore them because I'm not, I, I'm not really like a bed hangouter in the day. I'm very much in the living room, but like, for example, I love this situation. However, it's large and I only have my hats and belts here, which I love being able to see them, but like, I don't even have anything in those drawers and I don't know, I feel like I could be putting something here that's a little bit more functional, and I, li I like it because I hide all my duffel bags, but I'm like, should I get it, honestly, just like another inexpensive piece of furniture from like Wayfair or something that can hold my hats, or like, ooh, or like a, like a cabinet, like a dresser, another little mini dresser, or like something with drawers or cupboard, and then I could put like a floating shelf over top and put my hats and belts, I don't know, just thinking out loud, and then... I feel like my suitcase is just forever and always going to be somewhere. Maybe I should switch it to this side because then over here I have all of my other totes. So I feel like if I just got one more piece of furniture that I could put all these extra bags in, I feel like that would be my friend. Or I was like, I could get something kind of low here. Oh, wait, no, because then the curtains would go over them. <laughs> Ryan's water from last night. <laughs> But, you know, and, like, this chair, it does look so good, but I don't, I just can't get rid of it for some reason. But I could, in theory, 
just not put anything over there and put a piece of furniture over here but then i feel like that'll look weird with that so i feel like if i got something for that corner i'm just thinking out loud hope you guys are enjoying <laughs> um but yeah comment down below any insight you guys might have um i'm happy with this situation i love my mirror there i love everything sometimes i kind of want like new nightstands like bigger ones with drawers but i mean this is really like what's on my nightstand hatch alarm pillow spray lavender essential oil another essential oil my book coaster fan light remote fan so i don't know i'm just like thinking if i'm gonna be here another year i'm like all right let's do this i do also have to shout out i already posted out my story this is a joe malone like reed diffuser this is in the fig and cassis scent my whole apartment smells like it and i just have it in my bathroom like a part of me maybe i just will a part of me wants to move it in here just to like make it smell even more like it like maybe i'll just put it in here for a little bit i'm just amazed like these always work well but this one works really well and like it's not even like a candle that's lit i'm burning this dairy boy candle new england summer but it's cool with the joe malone came with this fresh fig and cassis so i can actually refill the diffuser as it starts to get empty so there's Definitely still some in there, so I'm pumped about that. What else can I show you guys in my apartment as I sip my drink? I really am still loving this. That is, actually I think this is from Wayfair. It just stores a ton of kitchen stuff that I couldn't fit. Like guys, literally look at all of my element. I have so much citrus oil, I love it so much. I even have more there. And then like teas and random drink stuff. But it's honestly perfect and I actually love how it looks. Like I feel like it looks better than when there was nothing there before. Still need to hang this up. This is a picture of me in Greece in our pool. Um, I feel like I'll ultimately end up hanging it here. But I don't know. I just haven't done that yet. As for tonight, I am going to dinner with Ryan and his family. I said it in my last vlog, but his sister just moved to New York City last night. So there, his parents are in town like helping her with her apartment and everything. It's so awesome. Um, that she's gonna be here too, we're very close. Yes, yeah, so we're going to dinner and meat packing. Might be meeting up with some of my friends after, but I'm also just kinda tired and I feel like I'm just gonna wanna go to dinner and then come home. I don't really know what my vibes are. So I'm trying to figure out what to wear tonight because it's summer in the city. I'm so excited to just be in New York City this weekend because I really haven't been. So I need to figure out what to wear though because like if I am meeting up with my girly pops after, it's like, okay, that's a whole vibe. That's like girls night out outfit. But dinner with the parents, it's a that's a different vibe as well. I do not know. I actually got this, uh, This I don't think this is the vibe tonight, but I did get this really cute set. Natalie Noel, her company Ella Day, sent me this set. It's so cute. It's like this cargo pants with like this sick top. It goes on each breast. <laughs> and I just don't, unfortunately, think that will work for tonight, but I was, it would be a good easy outfit. Just a set is always nice because it's like, all right, can you guys see this kind of, like, look how sick this shirt is. Would have been good for Drake, actually, but I didn't get it before that. I do love this top from Cynthia Rally, and it could be, I could make it, like, casual. It's, like, literally like a bandeau with a flower, but I could make it a vibe with, like, I can make it more casual, I mean, with jeans and, like, mini heeled sandals, like this or linen pants because i can't stop wearing linen pants i don't know it's a potential contender for tonight i feel like it's cute and fun but it's you know it's not like sh like it's literally covering my whole top half because of the flower so that's an option that i will keep there because sometimes i forget i'm like what was i gonna wear tonight and then i stress and i'm like wait i was gonna wear that or i have like this skims brown bodysuit i could go super simple and chic i don't know We'll figure it out. Wait, I forgot. This is definitely like a daytime outfit, but it's so cute. This is me in a dress. I need to turn this light on so you guys can see the color. It's this beautiful bright green. This is very daytime, and if I was meeting the girls after, I would not want to be in this. <laughs> but it's so cute. It's got the puffy sleeves, bright green, and I could wear it. It'd actually be really cute with sneakers because we're going to like a Mexican restaurant tonight. So it's pretty casual. This could be cute. Okay, I feel like between this with some sort of bottoms or this, I'm set. We're good. No more stress. Welcome to the girls' room. 
girl, just me. I'm on a hair journey of like figuring out what to do with my hair because it's it's like this awkward length right now and it does have like a blown out look right now but I don't love the front pieces. My roots are darker on purpose. Obviously I went blonde, but to me it just makes it look greasy. So, <laughs> so we're gonna Dyson Air Wrap this ish today. I haven't really, I don't curl my hair a lot in this length because I just get self-conscious because it makes my hair really short, I feel. But I haven't Dyson Air Wrapped it. So why not just give this a try? And if it sucks, I'll just put my hair up. Easy as that. I have so many pimple patches on right now. I don't really know what happened, but I, I think it was just all the sunscreen in the Hamptons probably. I don't know. I just breaking out all up and down there. So I'm gonna attempt to like literally curl my hair with the Dyson Air Wrap, which I used to do all the time, but I just haven't done it in forever with this length. All right, we're going in, baby. Okay, that actually looks pretty fire. I literally, I don't have rollers in, I just like pinned the front pieces once I curled them just so they stayed. I have to adjust. Yeah, this one didn't do what it was supposed to, but looks not too shabby. Literally took me 10 minutes. That is something I do love about the Dyson Air Wrap. I just wonder how this is going to hold. I already sprayed some living proof hairspray in it I don't hate it and it's gonna fall so maybe it'll just give some body I'm wondering if I should add some right here all right I mean obviously I used to use, when I had hair extensions oh my god I would use the Dyson hair wrap every day it literally looked amazing and I don't think this looks half bad all right here is my outfit for the night I'm literally so obsessed with this dress I'll have it linked below this bag is from the row um, it's like a little shoulder bag and then I was in between sneakers or like my Dolce Vita heeled sandals But one thing about Ryan's family. He lo they love a walk So I feel like after dinner there could be a walk involved. So I was like, let me just wear my Reeboks pretty cute um, Hair is holding up just fine. I feel like as soon as I step outside, maybe not so much But it's cute summer in the city vibes. I'm happy We're back. I just took my third shower of the day. That is summer in New York City for you. Um, I just like felt so gross. We went to dinner. It was so lovely. I ended up not meeting my friends out. It's only 9.45 and they were literally just, they were all meeting up at 9.30 so I could have. But my hair like, as predicted, just like got all messed up in the humidity. And I'm just tired. And I'm kind of in the mood to have a wholesome weekend. Like maybe I'll have some drinks. I didn't even drink at dinner. Like I literally didn't have a drink. Everyone else drank. I was just like, I don't, like, we're not going, and, like, I don't need to, um, and the dinner was so good, we got, like, I definitely ate way too many, like, chips and queso and guac, and I couldn't finish my main meal, but that, that, that sign of a good time, decided to, uh, tan my face, so I'm using some moisturizer, tan lux, I switched off between the tan lux and Isle of Paradise face drops, they're run by the same company, at least they used to be, so... I feel like they're very similar formulations, but I like Tan Lux a little better, I think. I don't know. I really like them both a lot. But because my face is just feeling not as tan as the rest of my body, and I want to wake up a glowing princess. I want to have a wholesome weekend. I kind of want to work out tomorrow. Um, maybe wake up, go to the Union Square Farmer's Market, maybe. Um, Ryan, want, he was like, I want to take you to this good pancake place, so maybe we'll do that, which would be really cute. We'll go to Soul Cycle. The classes are probably already full for Soul Cycle. I don't know. Um, and then we have plans with his parents and his sister tomorrow night to do a boat cruise and maybe a comedy show. So things are looking good. Got to wash your hands after yourself, Tim. But, oh God, I did not get the mascara under my eyes. Ryan just went home to like grab a change of clothes and he's going to come over. We're just going to hang, just some quality time, uh, maybe watch some TV, 
definitely watching TV. It's only 9.45, but I'm kind of in the mood to go to bed early. And I think he is too. We were both like yawning a lot, so that's what's going on. We're going to go to breakfast. Ryan's buying me flowers. Which ones scream Danielle? Which ones am I eyeing? Yeah, I like neutral colored flowers or yellow or pink. I don't really like bouquets of. What are those? Oh, I love those. Good job. <laughs> Yay. It is hot out there, you guys. No joke. We just walked around everywhere. It was so nice. I'm making Ryan and I some elements, though, because I am dehydration station. And we were walking back, and he said, let's go to the grocery store. I'm going to buy you some flowers. Ryan, I've got to say, you're really getting a hang of like, the flowers thing. I really love it. I haven't had to buy myself flowers in a minute. But yeah, we stumbled across like this, I don't know, what's it called? Like a festival? Or it's like, I don't know, like a market of sorts in the West Village. Shopped around, ran into some people we knew. The West Village on a Saturday really is like an elite thing. It feels very lovely. And the pancakes were indeed delicious at La Bonne Bonnerie. And yeah, now Ryan needs a baseball jersey immediately <laughs> from the MLB flagship store. So I think we're gonna go there and then maybe go visit his sister and his parents and see how the move's going. Like, they've moved everything. It's more so like, you know, doing the target runs and stuff like that. But we saw her empty apartment, but kind of want to see her room now, like with stuff in it. She said it's coming along. But it's only noon, and I feel like we've done so much. It feels like it should be like three o'clock, right, Ryan? Mm -hmm. So that's nice. My hair air dried and it's crazy. Ryan, you excited? <laughs> the MLB flagship. Let's see if they have stuff for your Braves team. They have every single team. Braves. Ryan's a big Braves fan. ATO. Stopped by a florist and we got Katie a vase because she did not have a vase. And flowers as a housewarming gift for her apartment back now I've been cleaning and just hanging enjoying my Saturday I did want to shout out this company girl code they sent me their game I'm so excited I always love a good card game and I love <laughs> the little um, gift it came with but um I think it's kind of like an apples to apples situation similar to cards against humanity you mix and match fun questions and edgy answers. Throw in some wild cards and see what happens. I don't know. I just love a game like this. I literally have so many 
under here so I'm gonna add it to the pile and play when my friends come over next I'm like should I put this on my shelf I don't know this is like a statement you guys I don't know obviously up there I have all of my matches from restaurants but then from companies and stuff I'll get cool matches as well so I put them in this bowl this is like stores and then in this one it's like restaurants I've been to in the city. Not just the city, actually. There's Miami and Atlanta in there. About to start getting ready for our evening plans, but I was snuggled up with this blanket. It's my Barefoot Dreams blanket. I literally only have Barefoot Dreams blankets in this household because they're so soft and comfortable and feel so good on your skin. Uh, but I, it, I need to wash this. I don't like to wash them because they take a while to like get back into true soft form, but... It needs to happen. So we're going to do that because tomorrow's Sunday. We have to do a big Sunday reset and I need to wash a ton of clothes tomorrow. So we'll wash the blanket and I need to do my sheets tomorrow. There's things to be done. So let's get after it. Welcome to the glam room. So I don't even know. I forget if I said what we're doing tonight or not. Like a month ago, a month and a half ago, Ryan and I did a boat cruise um, on Circle Line Sightseeing. It was called the Harbor Lights Cruise. And it's basically like two hours along the Hudson River. And some may call it touristy, but it's lovely. Like you watch the sunset, you're on the water, you see New York from a different point of view. I always recommend something like that to people. It's just something different to do in New York. And it's just cool to be on the water. I seriously am just realizing how relaxed I feel when I'm by the water. It's so interesting. But anyways... Ryan had told his parents about it, and they were like, oh my gosh, when we come to move in, your sister would love to do that. So Ryan got on it and got us all tickets, which was really sweet. So that's what we're doing tonight. And when we went, it was like an event. It was the brand promoting it, and they had dinner on there. But we're not really sure if there will be dinner, because it was like $50 a ticket. So a little unsure there. We'll find out. But... Um, I'm gonna eat a little something before and then they were like oh well if we're hungry after we could like grab a slice and we also were looking at comedy shows because we haven't gone to a comedy show in so long uh comedy cellar was sold out of course but New York Comedy Club is another great option and they had a 10:30 show but we didn't buy tickets for it just in case we're exhausted but it looked like there was still a lot of tickets I don't really know so that's kind of the plan for the night I need to figure out my outfit oh I actually just had an idea there's this, like, Veronica beard dress that I really like that could be cute. So, I'm going to do my makeup, and I need to figure out what to do with my hair. I just am so annoyed with my hair lately. Like, ah. Okay, I just did my makeup, and I got this freckle pen from Booble and this influencer, Rudy Berry. And I really want to try it, but I'm scared. Like, what if I have to end up just redoing my whole makeup? I don't even know, do you just put on your nose and then, oh my god, is this really dumb? I don't even know proper freckle placement. Ryan's going to be like, since when? Did you, I feel like you kind of like, tap them. Oh! Uh... <laughs> They're going to be like, since when do you have freckles? Probably shouldn't do too many. Can you guys even see this? And I'm just kind of like tapping them to make them look more natural. I don't know. To me, they kind of look like dots. This might have been so stupid. Can you guys see? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to like make them super low key. I don't think they look terrible now, but I just like, I know that I don't have freckles and I know that these are fake, but they're, n I'll give them a go. See what his family says. Also, when I was with Kelly recently, she saw my makeup brushes and she was like, girlfriend, you need to wash your brushes. <laughs> so I, I'm leaving them out. So tomorrow when I'm doing my Sunday reset, I remember to wash my makeup brushes. Before I figure out what I'm doing with my hair, I want to figure out my outfit. So I was talking about this dress that I got from Veronica Beard that is so gorgeous and could be good with like, you know, some heeled sandals or... No, 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 no. That won't work. 
So this is an option. I, w I really want to do like a half up, half down hairdo, like a slick back situation just because we're going to be on the boat and your hair just never prevails on the boat unless you have it up, um, I've learned. So that's an option. I also have this dress from Free People that I have been wanting to wear. It's a one shoulder, it's white, uh, little mini dress here that could be cute paired with these black like gladiator sandals that I actually love and I wore them when we went on this boat the last time and I like them, they have like a back strap. Um, but I would need to do some sort of outfit sandwich. So like if I'm doing black and white, I would probably need to bring like a black bag, which is doable. So, I don't know. Whatever, I'll just do my hair first and then we'll decide. But I'm, now I'm kind of feeling this. However, this does need to be steamed. But I did just get a new steamer that I'm really excited about because it works so much better. So maybe now is my time to break it in. Okay, total curveball. We're going Sophia Richie Grange. Um, Ryan's like, oh, I'm almost there. I'm like, oh. Because he was like initially running late. So I was like, well, I'll run late. And then he wasn't running late anymore. And now we're here. But I'm actually happy with this outfit. It's fun shopping in your own closet. Um, that might be too much. Okay, we're gonna do these earrings. They're from the brand Jenny Bird. I'll have them linked below. I call them like the big apostrophes or big commas, whichever you prefer. Um, slicked my hair back, did the half up, half down. It'll do, it'll do. It'll play. One of my friends always says that. She's like, it'll play and I, I really liked that. Like, do I need to add another neck? Okay, these are too much. Maybe I could do a couple of these bangles on this side. I don't know. No. Ryan's like waiting in my lobby right now. He's waiting in my lobby because he knows if he comes up, then I'll just linger. Ah! I don't, I don't even know anymore. This vlog part is pointless, but all right. Here's the fit. This top is from Zara. It's backless, which is so fun. And then these are my like nicer linen pants. They're more trousers. They're from Madewell. Yes, everything could have been a little bit steamed, but we didn't have time. And frankly, I don't really care. I'm never looking at other people's wrinkles. And linen pants are supposed to be wrinkled. These are Dolce Vita sandals. I literally repurchased them because I wore the heck out of them last summer. They're just so perfect because they're so comfortable, but they give you a little height. Very cute. Okay, I think for bag, I'm gonna do this bag from the row. Wow, I'm actually pretty happy with my outfit choice right now. Throw some cash in my wallet. I can't decide if I wanna drink alcohol tonight or not. That's a later problem. Okay, wallet, lip balm. I probably should bring sunglasses and these are pretty chic. Perfume tonight, I'm gonna use this one from Fleur called Father Figure. Do some gloss. This is Maybelline. Uh, this is the color Petal. All right, it's coming together. And, oh, I do, okay. This flap keeps not flapping. I could, like, hide it with my bag. Um, okay, let's just figure out sunglasses, and then we'll go downstairs. Okay. These are... These are like my trusty. I do have these, but I feel like I never end up wearing these because they're like funky. Oh, but it's a vibe. I don't know. I'm going with his parents. Ah! Okay, I have no other black in my outfit, so no. We'll do these, they're safe. Oh, I don't even have lotion on my arms. Okay, Ryan hasn't texted me yet. So that's a good sign. He's here. Coming! Yeah, 
packages for me. Merry Thank Christmas. You. Thank you. <laughs> I just, well, I was either a dress or this, and I feel like this is very coastal vibes. Let's go. Okay, we're in the Uber, or the taxi now, and I'm realizing that I should have fashion taped this shirt, and I realized it way too late because the boat will literally leave without us. So I'm just gonna have to hold this all night. So Ryan suggested I tuck in my shirt. So we'll see when I stand, it might help. It's gonna look weird, but <laughs> so stupid on my part, but I do like the outfit. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. I decided to be super aggressive this morning and wake up. Ryan was still asleep, and I decided to book us a reservation at Lafayette. Um, it's this amazing restaurant that I've been wanting to go to, and I thought it was hard to... I've been once, like, years ago, but I thought it was hard to get a reservation, but they had, like, every time slot available for brunch this morning, and I wanted to sit in the outdoor area, even though it's hot. And so Ryan was still asleep, but I made the reservation, and I woke, he woke up. I tell him, and he looks up. He's like, "This place has white tablecloths." Like, I don't. I just have a T-shirt, and I was like, "I'm on your team. I will match your energy." And we're sitting outside, so I think it's gonna be good vibes. He's a little nervous about the dress code, but I think we're gonna be okay. And I just want like a little no ho day. It's a no ho. It's um. And last night before I went to bed, he was like, "Let's go to breakfast somewhere." So. I took that to heart. Um, I just put on glow screen. Sunglasses. Here we are. The sunglasses debate again. So both this top is from Abercrombie. I'm wearing the Skims t-shirt bra. It's amazing. Very happy with it because sometimes tiggy boobs you can see. Shorts are also Abercrombie. I'm wearing my Reebok sneakers. Just try to like dress it up with jewelry. Wanted, I really want to make these sunglasses happen, so I'm gonna try. And I'm like, should I do? Yeah, this is cute. This is real cute, right? Okay, here's the final fit. Going to brunchy munchy bag. I think this is good. what I was confused about. There's honestly no wait for brunch. It, the line is for their supreme croissant that has like the chocolate inside. And that's what that line is for at 12 is when the croissants are gonna be ready. We debated waiting, but it's so hot out and like we're full, but that's crazy. Okay, I just got back and I was like, honestly, I know I'm going to Soul Cycle letter later, but I'm so sweaty, I just need to shower. Thank God for Google Calendar. I just got an alert. Soul Cycle's at one. The Soul Cycle class I was gonna maybe take yesterday was at three. So now I literally just took a shower. And, but honestly, it's good. I needed to wash off that sunscreen so I don't sweat with the sunscreen on. But oh my God. Thank God I like, oh my God, I was fully about to like say to Ryan, oh, we should just keep walking. Okay, we're going to Soul Cycle now. Brunch was amazing. Um. Oh, this just changes a lot of things. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And now I'm gonna go to a soul cycle class 
that's called frat party anthems like that sounds so fun so i need to leave like literally in five minutes oh my god i really wanted to drink an element because like i had four drinks last night so i'm still gonna make that happen like i still need to like hydrate okay here's the fits all the lemon my bag is packed <laughs> let's go rock to a frat party anthem baby Well, I had to walk out of that class early. Just sucks. Ugh. Um, but you know, I went to my first class in May and I thought for sure maybe I'd be walking out of that class and I haven't. It's been two months, May to June, June, July. Actually, it's been three months of Soul Cycle. So it was the first class that I was like, you know what, I'm just going to walk out. I kind of just knew that might happen because I came back. It was so hot out. Ryan and I were eating outside. I had like a big croque madame. We shared a pastry and then we walked back. It was so sweaty. I showered. I was going to drink my element, but I didn't have time to. So I like drank it on my walk. I had to fast walk to Soul Cycle, obviously, because I got the times wrong. So I was like panicked when I walked in. I was like, it was so, oh my God, it was just so hot. I was like fast walking. And then I went in and I actually introduced myself to the instructor because that's the class that Brooke did. Or that's the instructor Brooke did her class with. And I heard amazing things. And the class literally started out so fun. I was doing fine. I was definitely like, I was just dehydrated. Like I was definitely dehydrated and I knew it. And I was just like not myself. But she even like called my name during class. And then something hit me where I was just like, I could like, it wasn't anything even to do with my heart. I was just like, oh my God, I feel a little faint because I was so dehydrated and I had that big breakfast. I wouldn't have had that breakfast knowing that the class was at one if I ate at 11.30, but I, like I thought it was at three. So I'm trying not to get mad at myself. I just, I was just like feeling a little like funky. So I was like, you know what? I just walked out of the class and the people that worked at the desk, they're like, oh my God, are you okay? I was like, I honestly, and it was good. Like I wasn't panicked at all. As soon as I walked out, I was like, I'm really fine. They're like, do you need to take a seat? I was like, no, I just need to like chug water. I drank the rest of my element and I'm feeling good now. And I just like walked slowly back home and that's on listening to your body. And I'm just trying not to like be mad at myself because I'm so proud of myself for even going. And the class was so fun. The music was so good. I just like, ugh, it just sucks because I like went up to her before class and introduced myself and everything. So I'm going to message her on Instagram and be like, that was so fun. I just didn't drink enough water. And I told her, I was like, I might be, like, I didn't know. I, maybe I was hungover. I don't really know what's going on with me. So just sucks. But, you know, I got a good sweat in. I had fun. I was probably there for, I was in the class. I basically left halfway through the class. So I had like, I left after 25 minutes right before arms. So it, honestly, I only missed a few songs. It just sucks. And I knew this would happen one day and I'm not gonna let it discourage me. Like maybe I'll go literally tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, I was just like texting with Brooke. She was like, oh my God, are you okay? I was like, I'm literally fine. It was just a mental block and I was dehydrated. So drink a sparkling water to uh, love me some bubbles, but it was a little embarrassing. I can't lie, but we're here, so. It's fine. Now I'm home. I'm going to take another freaking shower. Actually, maybe I'll wait to shower a second and get some laundry going. We're going to start the Sunday reset. And yeah, but ugh.
just finished. This thing is literally amazing. It suctions to your sink and you can just get after it. I'm very happy. I use the Sigma brush shampoo and then that thing and some water. Now I'm just gonna let them dry. Um, except now I need to like wash my counters because I see like makeup on it. I'm about to post this on the Gals on the Go Instagram and I was like, I haven't reminded my vlog in a while. We are going on another Gals on the Go live show tour. Chicago, Dallas, and Austin sold out. New York is a huge venue and we haven't sold it out yet. So if you haven't gotten tickets, you still can. December 16th at Town Hall here in New York City. If you went last year, it's a completely different show. Um, we already started planning it. It's literally so funny. I'm so excited. If you listen to the podcast or even if you don't, you'll still understand it. If you like watch Broken Eyes videos, it's going to be so much fun. So the link is on galsinthegopodcast.com. Click live shows. I'm posting this on our story right now, but I just thought I'd chat it out. Make a little weekend out of it. Like I feel like a lot of people come to New York City for like Christmas time and this is on a weekend in New York in December. So December 16th, it's going to be so fun. I hope you guys can come. Hey, okay. My friends just came over and went through a ton of clothes that I'm about to donate. Um, I always like to give them first dibs and it's so fun because then I get to see the clothes have new life and they were here trying everything on. The apartment was a literal mess. I didn't vlog because they were like literally trying things on and like naked. But it always makes me so happy and obviously they're so grateful and it was just cute. So and we got to hang out at the same time. I'm gonna shower again. I'm still feeling like ugh about the class but it's so funny. I told them and immediately they're like, that's okay. Like, that's fine. That literally happens to everybody. Do not let this discourage you. I said, it, I told Delaney too and she was like, that's okay. Like, it's a Sunday. You don't usually work out like on the weekends. I was like, you're right. It's not a setback. But I'm going to shower and then actually tonight we're going over to Margot Washer's apartment. I've actually never been to her apartment and we're having just like a chill living room hangout. Uh, Brooke is coming back from vacation today, so she was like on the feds, but she was like, I'm just so exhausted. So it's gonna be me, Margo, and Katie. And I'm excited. She like ordered us Carrot Express. And we're gonna chill and catch up. But I'm just gonna keep folding clothes and shower and then go over there in like an hour. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I love you guys so much. Just because I know the vlog is so long. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bye.